it's Zenester and I'm here with another Wi-Fi battle against SK, some random guy who challenged me while I was Abby breeding, and I hope you guys enjoy the new layout, it took a lot of effort, but that's all I want to do about it. So let's hop right into this battle while SK, or whatever his name is, decides to challenge me. He sends out his Dracolos, aka Dragonite, and I send out my Speedy Gonzalez, aka Jolteon. Yeah, I think since the last battle I nicknamed all my Pokemon. So I think you guys will enjoy most of them. So he decides to switch out his Dragonite in fear of probably HP ice. So I go straight for the Volt Switch against his Rotom. And I'm like, okay, who can probably take on this Rotom the best? So I send out my, I'm totally straight and I know it, Sylveon. <laughs> Just look at his ribbons and pinkness and it's a dude. So after his leftover, it looks like that Volt Switch did about, I don't know, like a 25%. So he goes for his own Volt Switch and he gets the crit, oh my god, that probably, that's gonna hurt me more in the future, but he decides to switch out right to his x guide or whatever, aka his Aegislash, so I go for the light screen, cause you know, nothing's wrong with going with light screen, so after my leftover recovery, I'm pretty sure that that Volt Switch pretty much just did 50. So now I'm fearing of the, the Steel type move, I switch out right to my Hammerhead, thinking that I can probably do, I can pretty much get away with whatever I want. So he's starting to set up his Sword Dance, I'm in fear of this thing. So I Mega Evolve to my Mega Garchomp. Oh yeah, this guy, my Mega Garchomp's name is Hammerhead. So he decides to go for the King Shield to scout out what I wanted to do. And obviously I went for the safe, safe X Earthquake. So now I predicted him to actually leave into his Dragonite or something, but he stays in for some reason and I miss my Dragon Rush. So now I'm in total fear of this thing because it's got plus four. And now he goes again for the King Shield thinking that I go for the Dragon Rush again. But nope, I go for the Earthquake and I think I go for the Earthquake again to get rid of this stupid x guide or aka Aegislash. So I don't know why he didn't go for the... What's it called? The Shadow Snake? But whatever. Doesn't matter to me. So he brings out his Dracolos. So I'm like, okay, this, unless this thing is Scarf, I can outspeed it. So I decided to hit it as hard as I can with the Dragon Rush. But this thing ha lives with a Focus Sash. What Dragonite uses Focus Sash? I don't know. So while he was while he was surviving, I was raging. So I didn't even recognize this guy. He went for a Dragon, dragon Dance. So I didn't know that... I would be slower than him, so I was like, okay, I'll just go for a Dragon Claw and just kill him. But nope, he went for the DD and I, I just lost my Mega and probably that's going to make the game a lot harder. So I switched into my Aegislash and go straight for the Shadow Snake, which is probably the, e the safest play I could do to make sure this Dracolos wouldn't stay on the pl plane anymore. So there goes that big threat, but unfortunately at the cost of my own Mega, which is, I don't know, super important. So I decided to switch right out because he sent out his Volcarona. I go straight to my Gonzap, thinking that this thing will probably go for a bug type move. But nope, goes straight for the Quiver Dance. So I'm like, oh no, this thing's setting up on me. If only I still had Hammerhead. I could have easily taken this thing on if I had Hammerhead, but nope. So I decided to stay in knowing that Gonzap can at least take one hit because he has 30. So yeah. He eats the, the citrus berry and he decides to. I go for the aerial ace, I believe, just trying to get as much damage as I, as I possibly can against this thing. So that barely did anything, so I'm like, oh god. And then he gets a flame body. I know that didn't matter, but honestly, it's just the hacks behind it. It just annoys me. So he goes for the fiery dance, and I'm like, ah, uh, this is overkill right here. He could have just gotten away with, like, I don't know, bug buzz, and that would have been fine. But nope, he goes for the fiery dance and he gets the special attack raised, so I'm like, oh god, this thing's going to be a massive threat. So I send out my special wall, I'm totally straight, to handle this thing. So for some reason, he goes for the bug buzz, fishing for the special defense drop, and he gets it. I'm like, why? Why me? So I set up the light screen to sort of help, help out my team take on this thing a little bit better. But after that, that what's it called? the leftovers I'm at half and I'm hoping I can at least take one more hit from this thing to get a toxic off on this thing but unfortunately no I do I do actually live it wow I thought this was never mind so yeah I do actually get the toxic off on this thing so I think I go for 
after leftovers, I think I go for the protect. I think. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but yeah, I think I go for the protect here, hoping to stall him out of like HP. But unfortunately, he has the move rest, and I was like, no! I have the work, the live of Gunzap, and most likely I'm totally straight, it's gone because it's resto chesto larv. Or, I forgot, Volcarona. I was about to say Larvesta. Then, no, it's Volcarona. So now I'm I'm totally screwed because I can no longer take another hit from this thing. But, and I'm going to have to think of a, another cheeky way to take out this thing as he gets another special attack increase. So I'm pretty sure he's at plus two, plus three special attack. Quiver Dance, one Quiver Dance, and two of those stupid things. So it goes for the Fiery Dance. I'm hoping that... Aegislash can go and live this one. Please, Aegislash, live! And he barely lives. I'm like, oh god, this is this is not going to do anything because I just remembered he had a stupid quiver dance. So whatever this Shadow Ball could have done was not reduced. I'm like hoping to get 50%. Not even close. This thing is way too wallish against me. So I just send off Aegislash on a Kamikaze mission to get as much damage as, as he possibly could against this thing. So it gets a lot of it, a lot of damage on this thing. So I'm like, all right, this thing doesn't have any, doesn't look like it has much defense. So I'll go and let Age Slash die, and I'll switch out right to my Toxicroak as he gets a special attack raise again. So I think he's at plus four. So now I send out my Brock Chuck, aka Toxicroak, to go for the revenge kill with the Sucker Punch, and there goes his Pyrax. And I'm like, oh my god, this these things are just so annoying and they're so powerful. So he sends out his god knows how many letters. So I go for the Sucker Punch, which was a very, very predictable play. So he decides to go for the will o -Wisp, and now my Brock check has now been chucked. Because now his physical attacks are doing half as much damage as they should be doing. And unfortunately, burn, burn damage overrides the amount of damage I'll be getting with my black sludge so he goes he's just trying to I think he's just trying to kill me at this point I he's doing a pretty good job and thinking that he'll actually stick with the whole discharge or volt switch I decide to switch out to can after this whole burn damage I switch out to Gonzalez to take the volt absorb and save my toxicrope but nope he decides, he actually predicts that very next, he goes for the Hydro Pump, and he hits, and I'm like, oh god, I'm screwed. But Gonzalez decides to live, and I'm like, oh my god, this thing is a defensive kind. So I'm like, okay, he, what does he have left? He, just, he has Excadrill, Rotom, and Gardevoir, so I'm like, okay, I'm Troy Scarf, Shadow Ball has to do the most damage against all of them. So I go for the Shadow Ball, and I dodge the Hydro Pump, I'm like, okay, okay, I can maybe get a little more damage, and rock check and maybe kill this thing so I go for another shadow ball and it's like okay okay just one more and I dodge the hydro pump again I'm like oh my god oh my god Gonzales 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 you can do it you can do it you can do it you can do it please hit this shadow ball and kill it please kill it please kill it please kill it and it does and I'm like oh, yes it's 2-2 two, two. I still have a chance of winning this thing so he sends out his my 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 no taupe aka excadrill I don't know how to enunciate so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Shadow Ball can do some work right here. But little did I know Excadrill has really, really good special defense. So he's obviously going to go for the Earthquake and destroy Gonzalez and his dreams right there. And there goes essentially the game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Because all I have left is my Brock check and that thing can't do anything burned so I just let him attack me one more time I was hope I don't know I was hoping he'd go for it like a trick attack or something to get a funny last kill but he didn't he went straight for the win and SK good game so this been a Nestor and I will see you guys later wait with it who are you Ah, I gotta deal with this psychic guy too. Alright, I just realized that I've never used my F6.